one of the earliest technocrat trailblazers in Delhi, IIT Kanpur graduate Prabhas Misra set up his company Intcon Boilers way back in 1977, barely two and a half years after graduating from his alma mater. After initially planning to go to the US and study on a scholarship, Prabhas realized that destiny had other plans for him. When his visa got refused by the American consulate, he decided to venture into entrepreneurship. I had never planned for this journey. For that matter, the purpose why I went to IIT Kanpur was because my elder brother was in the first batch of IIT Kanpur. Thereafter, he went to USA. He did his MS, he did his PhD, and thereafter he is working. And for me also, I had a similar goal. I had never uh, thought of becoming an entrepreneur, but it so happened my visa was uh, uh, refused. And uh, initially, obviously, it was a big disappointment because I had planned for it for a number of years. But then I started look, uh, looking for uh, various options. I worked for an engineering company for some time, and then the idea of starting a company and going for manufacturing of engineering equipment came. Starting out by manufacturing boilers in the Okla industrial area, Prabhas quickly went from strength to strength. Using indigenously developed technology, he started supplying to all the companies that were cropping up in an increasingly industrialized India. His attention to detail and ethical approach were evidence of his technical education and he made sure that his company had all the necessary certificates from the chief controller of explosives to the chief inspector of boilers and one even from the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. In North India, at that particular uh, point of time, there were no boiler manufacturers. And that is how the idea came up to my mind that we should go for boiler manufacturing. Initially, we started with relatively small capacity boilers and slowly we started manufacturing even larger capacity boilers. That is one of our product mix. In 1990, sensing a vastly untapped market for pressure swing adsorption based gas generation plants in India, Prabhas diversified and formed a sister company PSA Nitrogen with technical help from a German company called Carbotech. PSA Nitrogen today manufactures PSA-based nitrogen and oxygen generation plants, ammonia cracking based hydrogen generation units as well as compressed air drying units and gas purification units. Now amongst the world's largest air and gas treatment systems company in the PSA space, PSA Nitrogen has supplied more than 1500 PSA plants to the chemical, petrochemical, pharmaceutical, metallurgical, food and cement industries. As far as nitrogen plants are concerned, we are the leaders in India. Nitrogen finds applications in many segments of industry. As far as bulk drug and pharma industry is concerned, we have almost 90% market share. For other applications also, we have supplied large number of nitrogen plants and major market for nitrogen plants in India is Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat and Maharashtra. That is the reason we have our branch offices located in those states. With a new manufacturing unit established in Faridabad in 1997, Prabhas has been ably assisted by his wife Usha for a long time now. With Prabhas busy with the marketing and business development side of the business, Usha has been looking after the factory on a daily basis. A homemaker who now spends as much time in the factory as Prabhas himself. I did my MSc in chemi chemistry. After my marriage, I have uh, just discussed these kind of business kind of things with my husband at home only because I have given my um, sufficient time to my family to bringing up my children. And uh, we, when we discuss these kind of things uh, of business at home, I always given my advices to my husband and he invited me for uh, joining this business after my children went to the U.S. for their studies. So from 2006, I have uh, actively joined this business and looking after the factory. Sharing the burden now is Prabhas's son Siddharth, a Carnegie Mellon graduate who was working as a financial analyst on Wall Street. But after taking a sabbatical from New York, Siddharth decided to work with his father to understand the intricacies of business 
and is today trying to upgrade systems and processes to increase efficiency while also upgrading his own knowledge in the process. The reasons for moving here are twofold. One is to you know learn and grow in a new space, like I said, something that my father has been doing for the last 30 years. Uh, uh, so just getting a bird's eye view here. Secondly, uh, leveraging my skills and experience uh, in the finance and uh, computer science space, uh, which was my background. The kind of things I have gotten involved with right away are a lot of quantitative and data analysis, I would say, uh, creating processes and systems where you can capture the minutest level of detail and then extrapolate the right kind of information when you need it. Um, that helps in decision making. We're living in the information age, so that's what I've been working on for the past couple of months. It increases productivity. Uh, the ultimate goal in this setting is uh, obviously to uh, streamline the entire supply chain, effective procurement, efficient production, and distribution. We're striving for operational excellence here.